Alak Nanda River, with its source from the Himalayan glaciers, is the largest tributary to the Gang. Constructing a dam in its path was a Himalayan task. For more than three decades, the Alak Nanda project remained on paper as many corporate companies and even the state government's irrigation department found this a difficult task to execute. But a determined Dr. G. V. K. Reddy took up the challenge of building a hydropower plant across the river Alaknanda and successfully commenced the project in the year 2006. The project started with the construction of a diversion tunnel and two coffer dams to divert the water flow and isolate the dam area. Every monsoon, when these coffer dams were washed out and the work got suspended for four months, it did not stop the construction process. 17 to 18 lakh cubic meters of excavation was done at the location of the dam. Every day, 4,500 cubic meters of concrete was used in building the base. 6 lakh cubic meters of concrete and 13,000 tons of steel was used in the construction of the dam. The dam has been designed to be a diversion dam as it is a run-of-the-river project with a height of 248 meters and 8 spillway bays. The dam can handle 26,400 cumex of flood. Six intake tunnels sized 5.6 meter diameter each have been built upstream to divert the water into two main head race tunnels of 9.8 meter diameter each. Through these head race tunnels, the water travels more than a kilometer to reach the desilting basin. This 240 meter long desilting basin is designed in such a way that the turbulent flow of the water coming from these head race tunnels converts into the laminar flow. Through this, silt particles of sizes larger than 0.2 mm will be trapped. The silt particles that gather at the bottom of the basin are flushed back into river through underground tunnels, making the water silt-free. A 3.2 kilometer long power channel has been constructed to take the silt-free water from the desilting basin to the forebay. At the forebay, four penstocks of diameter 5.6 meter and length of 114 meter were built. They can take the water to the turbines down below at the powerhouse with a net head of 65.97 meters. At the powerhouse, the kinetic energy of the flowing water is converted into mechanical energy by rotating a turbine which turns the generator, thereby converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. The powerhouse with four units of 82.5 megawatt each has a capacity to produce 330 megawatt of power. To synchronize and transmit the generated power to the grid, a switchyard has been constructed near the powerhouse. The SCADA-enabled project allows monitoring to be done remotely and any kind of precaution can be taken for disaster management in advance. Constructing a mega structure like this takes a lot of courage and commitment, not mere engineering expertise. In 2013, heavy rains and the resultant floods breached the construction area with a huge...
और ये क्रेन भी गई इसकी Huge deposit of silt destroying a great portion of work under progress. Despite the 200 year old Thari Devi temple was relocated to a new concrete structure at the same place. Several roads and bridges were constructed providing convenience for an easy livelihood of the local people. By adding 330 megawatt hydro potential to the grid, this project has transformed the lives of the local people of Uttarakhand and the country as a whole. This is a bold achievement for GVK, while being another step towards meeting the country's energy needs in an environment-friendly manner. GVK stands as an example of a responsible private enterprise that refuses to sacrifice its values and the environmental responsibilities in the face of extreme odds. The company has quite literally moved mountains to bring light into the lives of the people. GVK Alaknanda Hydro Power Company Limited